Gianluigi Buffon, one of the most passionate players that you will ever see out on the football pitch. He's garnered fans throughout his career for his passion and his love for the game. He's been the best goalkeeper in the world or one of the very best in the world for so long now and his career is coming to an end very, very soon. Juventus do have the Champions League final coming up and it would be a fairy tale if Gianluigi Buffon can go ahead with Juventus and go ahead and win the Champions League final. He's done so much in his career playing for Italy and playing for the team that he loves, Juventus. But today I got 10 things you probably didn't know about Gianluigi Buffon. If you go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. If you are new around here, click on the subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notifications so you can be a part of the notification squad. Number 10, 1,000 professional games. Buffon did achieve the career milestone of playing 1,000 professional games. When he was playing for Italy, he kept a clean sheet in that game and it actually kept Italy in place at the top spot in Group G with Spain in the World Cup qualifying stages. Not too many people can say that they've played over 1,000 games, but Buffon can and he's just been a, such a great player for such a long time. Number nine, record fee. When you want the best in the world, you need to go out and pay big money for the best in the world. And Buffon transferred to Juventus Football Club in the summer of 2001 for approximately 45 million. It was a record fee for a goalkeeper and it is still the record to this day. Number eight, Mr. Captain. When you become a captain of your club or country, that's a proud achievement. Buffon has actually gone ahead and become the captain of both the Juventus side and the Italian national side. Buffon has served as the captain for both Italy and Juventus and just proving that he's a leader of men wherever he does play. Number 7 early life. Gianluigi Buffon was born on January 28, 1978 in Cara in Italy. He's actually the son of two athletes, so it was in his family, in his blood, to become a great athlete himself. His father was a weightlifter and his mother was a discus thrower. Being an athlete was in Buffon's genes and actually from a young age he did show how good he was during soccer games and became a real standout player at a young age. Number 6 king of Italy. I would be here for a very long time if I had to list all the accolades that Buffon has won with his team. He's the king of Italy. He did sign for Parma. That was the first club that he was at. At Parma, he did go ahead and win three trophies with the side during the years of 1998 and 1999. He won the Coppa Italia, the Super Coppa Italia, and the UEFA Cup. When he did make the move to Juventus, things went sky high for Gianluigi Buffon. At Juventus, he's won 10 City R titles, two were actually taken off the club. City R B title, he did win that also. He's won the Coppa Italia three times. He's won the Super Coppa Italia five times. He's been a two time UEFA Champions League runners up. Let's hope that he can win that when Juventus do take on Real Madrid. And he's also won the FIFA World Cup. Number five record holder. Gianluigi Buffon holds so many records in football and when it comes to these records it is for most appearances. Buffon has been around for so long now. He has the record for the most appearances for Italy, 168 appearances for the Italian national side, second most appearances in the Serie A with 619 appearances is absolutely amazing. Most appearances in the City R as a goalkeeper, 619. Most number of clean sheets for the Italian national side with 73. And most number of clean sheets for Italy at a World Cup, 6 clean sheets. Gianluigi Buffon holds these records and really who is going to go ahead and beat them? I can't see anyone coming close. Number 4 the scandal. I couldn't make this list without bringing up the scandal, the Italian scandal. In May of 2006, Buffon was among several players charged with betting on matches in the infamous scandal. He was cleared of any wrongdoing and elected to stay with the club after Juventus was actually stripped of their two most recent league titles. Like I did mention, he's won 10, but two was actually stripped of him. And Juventus were also relegated to the second division, the City B, which Buffon did go ahead and actually win during the first season. Despite the negativity around Juventus, Buffon led his club back into the Serie A and after the scandal actually happened in the 2006 World Cup, they actually went ahead to win the FIFA World Cup, conceding just two goals and earning himself a second place in the FIFA Ballon d'Or. Could you imagine Buffon going ahead and winning 
the FIFA Ballon d'Or, it'll be absolutely incredible. But the scandal has not tarnished his reputation. People still look at Buffon as one of the best goalkeepers in the world at such an older age. Number three charity work. Buffon is known also for his charity work. In addition to other charitable endeavors after every match, he actually auctions his current top or the captain's armband for charity. On September 1st of 2014, Buffon and a number of current and former footballing stars took part in a match for peace which was played in Rome's Stadio Olimpico with all the proceeds going to charity and Buffon was one of those players that did play that game. Number two, Buffon the midfielder. Buffon is such a quality goalkeeper, but did you know that he started out as a midfielder? He started his career in football as a midfielder, but then became a goalkeeper because of an idol that he did look up to. It's former Cameroon and Espanol star, Thomas Ancono. He looked up to the Cameroon star so much that he called his first son, Luis Thomas, after the Espanol stopper. And number one, his depression. When we all see Buffon out on the football pitch, you can see the passion this guy has for the game. He loves leading out his team and he loves winning. He would do anything to win his football games, winning pieces of silverware, and it's just so amazing to watch a player showing so much passion on the pitch. So much so that in 2013, Buffon claimed to have suffered with bouts of depression during the 2003-04 season following Juventus's penalty shootout defeat in the 2003 Champions League final. And due to Juventus's negative performances that season, Buffon fell to depression. Buffon regularly visited a psychologist but refused to take medication and overcame his depression prior to the Euro 2004 campaign. That is absolutely mind blowing to see Buffon such a player that loves football so much, he fell into depression because of the performances that him and his team were putting out. Let's hope that Gianluigi Buffon can go ahead and win the Champions League when Juventus do face Real Madrid in, I think it's next week also in the Champions League final. But that is 10 things you probably didn't know about Gianluigi Buffon. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another video.